Hi everybody, it's Carol from Angels Sewing and I am here today for another short demo video. So today I am talking about zippers by the yard, which I know a lot of you, when you hear just the word zipper, you kind of get a little, a little bit of anxiety. I can totally assure you, I was the same exact way. So uh, let's get in on this and let's see what we can do with zippers by the yard. These are by far my favorite, favorite zippers to work with. I used to be petrified of them. Like I just did the regular, you know, uh, YKK zippers, which there's nothing wrong with YKK zippers, believe me. Uh, but that it, it was just safe. The pull was already on it. I just had to trim each end, whatever, and, and it fit and it was good. But with zippers by the yard, you have, you open up a whole world of colors and uh, different color, it, mainly the different color zipper tapes is what I love. And the zipper pulls, different pulls can go on different zipper tapes and you can get very, very creative. So let's dig right in. I'm just gonna change my camera view here. As you can see here, I have all, this is how I keep mine. Part of my sewing room is organized. So this is, um, these are like all my, all my zipper pulls that I have. And another little tip I just want to tell you, like when you buy different um, brands of zipper tape, they'll kind of tell you that they don't interact with each other. The pulls won't interact um, with each other. Like, you know, so-and-so's so brand will not go on so-and-so's brand. That's kind of sometimes not true. Not 100% of the time, but most of the time. So. Here we have, this is how, I'm gonna first show you how, you know, you will get it in the package and it'll come in a big, long tape. That's what they call it, they call this zipper tape. So I'm just gonna put this aside because I already have, um, I already cut some so that I can start showing you. What I do, I just like to make sure that my end here, I'm gonna bring this over a little bit more to the camera here. I'm just, I like to just give it like a nice clean edge. So I have my Martelli ergonomic rotary cutter. These are the best rotary cutters around. They help with arthritis, carpal syndrome. It, 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 they're, they're fantastic. We have them in the store. So anyway, so I'm just gonna cut a nice straight edge. I always get rid of that. And you know, sometimes too, when you're starting, just so you know, when you're trying and trying, because I, I went through I went through a bit of inches of zipper tape, let me tell you. I, de I definitely did. And don't be afraid of that, but you will get better, I promise. So see how it has a nice, clean edge here. Now I'm gonna just open this up a bit, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take this zipper pull. Now, the zipper pull, you wanna take it with the top part, with these two openings right here. Not this way where there's only one, we want it this way where there's two. So one on the right side of the tape and one on the left side of the tape. So then you basically are just, it, it really is just, you wanna get it. What I do, I kinda, I start the first one and then I'll kinda hold my thumb down with it. And then I maneuver, I know it's hard for you guys to see here. And you wanna maneuver the other side in. Now the most important part is you wanna make sure, do you see? You want to make sure that they're sh it's straight. So then you just kind of maneuver the, the pull down. And do you see? Now you just pull this end and voila, there you go. Your pull is on your tape. So let's try that one more time, okay? Pull it right off. See how this happens sometimes, and this is, this is totally normal with zipper tape. See how it has, I'm um, not sure if you can see the you know, it starts to fray a little bit. And that gets a little bit harder. And when you're new, this is what I would do. I would cut off a nice, fresh, and these are nylon. These are made to look like they're metal, but they're nylon. And they're perfectly safe with your machines, your sewing machines, and your cutters, of course. So let's try this again. So you get your zipper tape, your uh, zipper pull, and you wanna go into the side, that into the end that has the two edges slide one in one side and I kind of just like you'll get it after a while see how I'm kind of holding my thumb down so it's kind of holding this tape down and I have it against I'm not sure what happened to that camera but that's okay I have it against the the pull 
Then I'm just going to slide this one in this side. Whoop. And you want to put it, and actually I should say this, you want to put it in, you don't want to go in straight, you want to go in at an angle. That's how it goes in. And then the same with the other side. There you go. So I've got it in there. Then you see right there. And then just start pulling it down. And see? Got a nice, there you go. It's really, really as simple as that. I also like to do, and I figured out, I don't even know how I figured it out, but I have a lot of these just, uh, I do a lot of bags, obviously, as you guys all know. So I have like halves of zipper tapes all over the place because I like to mix and match colors. And I like to mix and match zipper pulls. So you can take two different zipper tapes, grab a pull, eh, let's grab a, this cute sewing machine one. And again, we want to do it on the edge that has the two openings. So just line it up together. And are you making note also that these are two different color zipper tapes? So they come from two different rolls. This is the fun of it. This is what I just absolutely love doing. Again, the two openings here. I'm gonna lay that down. Wanna get it on the side. Hold your thumb down just so it doesn't continue in. And then the other one. Whoop. Now see, see how it's a little, I'm not sure if you can see that. See how it's a little off right here? See, it's not, it's not straight across. So I'm gonna flip this pull. I'm gonna hold on to the right side and I'm just gonna pull the left one down a bit so it's even. There we go. Keep them in the track and then just continue to push your zipper pull. Actually, oh, I don't like it. It's a little off. But you know, when I started, mine were all off. So it's okay, practice, practice takes a little bit of time and it's okay. There we go. And there we go. And there's my pole. If you wanna see more of these demos, let me know what you'd like to see demoed. We'll be uploading these to the, to the YouTube channel, as you know, and um, happy zipper making and don't be afraid you can come in to the store anytime and ask questions i'll give you a demo no no problem have a good day thank you